with the coronavirus, as businesses are closing down or forcing people to work remotely, cybersecurity is more important than ever. I know most of us don't think about cybersecurity until it's too late, but if you're working from home, there are five key things that you need to remember. When you're in an office building, you often forget that you're behind a lot of different security devices. With many of our clients, they have six or seven different security devices that filter out web traffic and filter out email before it ever makes it to your inbox. When you're working from home, it's all gone. It's just you, right? It's you and the internet. Most people don't have all of that security embedded at their house. So it's important to recognize no matter who you are and what you do, you are a target and you need to take these five steps. I'm gonna briefly go over them and then I'll cover them in more detail. First and foremost, secure your wireless. Make sure your wireless is properly secure with proper encryption. Two, if you're gonna use cloud-based services for collaboration or moving information or documents for business purposes, don't use the free services. Make sure you pay for the premium because they have additional security added in. Third, make sure you properly protect and secure your passwords and if possible, set up two-factor authentication. Four, make sure any devices that are connected to the internet is up to date with the latest software. No XP, no Windows 7, right now this outdated stuff, Windows 10, up to date, fully patched. And then finally, you wanna make sure that you're careful with checking email and surfing the web and always do that from a separate device. So let's break each of these down. First, most of us are connecting at home from a wireless network. And I know many of us say, oh, come on at home, I'm just surfing the web or I'm just watching a movie. Who cares about security? Because it's not that important. Well, guess what? Now that everyone is working from home and you are using that network for critical data, critical business information that could be very sensitive and you wanna make sure that's protected and secure, because guess what? As more people work from home, more people are gonna be targeted in that manner. So spend five minutes, go to your wireless access point and make sure you turn on full encryption. Turn on full encryption, full authentication, and I know we don't like it, but set a strong password. You only have to enter it into your device once and that's gonna be secure and locked down. But if you have a password of ABCD or 1234 or password, eh, right, try again, that's not going to cut it. Spend the time to make sure that wireless access point is protected, secured, and locked down. And if you don't know how to do it, you have two options. You can try to call up Best Buy and wait four or five days to see if you can get the Geek Squad to come out and spend a couple hundred bucks. Or just give one of your kids or find a teenager in your area, give them 20 bucks. Trust me, they know how to do it. Right? Kids know tech better than us. So uh, either you do it yourself, it's real easy. Google it, look it up online, or hire a junior tech support, a high school student, give them 20 bucks, but make sure your wireless is secure and locked down correctly. Number two, if you're going to use cloud-based services, whether it's shared documents like Google Docs, whether it's uh, Dropbox, whether it's any of these different services where you're sharing and collaborating on the internet, pay for the commercial version. Yes, many of these do have free versions, but do you realize with the free version, you don't have the same encryption, you don't have the same protection, and you are agreeing, even though you don't know it, but when you sign up with that user license agreement known as a Euler, you are agreeing that they can monitor and watch your traffic. Now, if you're just uploading pictures of your kids, free is okay, right? Because if somebody gets access to that, not a big deal. But if you're now doing business from home and you have sensitive corporate information, you can't run the risk of having it public and open. So spend the 20, 30, 40, 50 bucks and make sure you're using a commercial version because it gives you encryption and much better security. Third, passwords, passwords, passwords. Now that we're at home, passwords are even more critical. My recommendation 
is say bye bye to passwords and go to two factor authentication. This is where every time you log in, you enter in the password and then you get text a one time credential. Yes, a little more work, but well worth it for the overall security. Now here's the good news, bad news. The good news is most of the sites you're using, whether it's social media, banking, e-commerce, or collaboration tools, they all have good security built in. The bad news, it's not turned on by default. So spend a few minutes going in under settings, under security, and start turning on additional security. Turn on notification when somebody tries to access your information. Turn on notification if somebody tries to alter or change your password and turn on two-factor authentication. Passwords are too easy to guess, too hard to remember. Go the two-factor authentication route, much more secure, much more protected. Four, make sure you have an up-to-date operating system that's fully patched. If you wanna just surf the web casually on an outdated system like Windows 7, I'm not happy, I'm not thrilled but it's your decision. But if you're now gonna be doing business, if you're gonna be doing sensitive transactional information with financial data for you or your customers, you need to have an updated supported operating system like Windows 10, and you must have it fully patched. Once again, whether you're using a Mac or Windows, they have options for doing automatic patching. The problem is many people have those turned off. And then if you want a bonus, in addition to having full patching, download Endpoint Security and pick a vendor. They're all very similar these days, but just put Endpoint Security, just that little extra level of protection. So if you make a mistake or something goes wrong, you can be protected and secured. And then finally, my fifth recommendation for working from home is email and web browsing are the two most dangerous apps on the planet. Use a separate computer. I personally will always do a first pass of email on my iPhone, couple of reasons. Most of the malware doesn't run on an iPhone and it gives me a quick, simple way to filter out those emails and then once I verify and validate that an email is legit, then I will go to my computer with my big screen, right, my multiple screens, right? I got my matrix set up there, and then I'll do my real work, do the analysis, and do everything that's needed. And same thing with web surfing. Web surfing and email are the two most dangerous apps and activities that you can perform, so running them on a second computer is the best way to be safe and secure. So if you're gonna be working from home, which most of us are, and this also applies to your kids if they're doing remote learning, Remember Dr. Cole's five core principles for working from home. Secure and protect your wireless access point is number one. Number two, don't use free services. Make sure you use the commercial-based services. Third is set up two-factor authentication. Fourth is make sure you're using an updated operating system fully patched. And for bonus points, install an endpoint security product on that. And then finally, the fifth one is check email and surf the web from separate devices. If you do those five things, you are going a long way to be safe and secure in this ever-changing world where we need to work from home and can't have direct access to the office. I'm Dr. Eric Cole, and I'm on a mission to make cyberspace safe.